Yo dogs are one and six six back again with another video. Today we're talking about the most overrated off season this season, which is the Atlanta Hawks. So <clears throat> basically I think personally the Hawks make either the eighth seed or they just won't make the post season. But I've been seeing people saying that uh the Hawks are gonna be the fifth seed, gonna beat out one of the LA teams, gonna f wait. Well, where is Atlanta? I don't know. I don't know what conference they're in. They're in. I don't know. But they're gonna get like nine hundred wins. Um. But personally, I don't see it. So, cause I like some of the players I've got in, and. I'll talk about them throughout this, because that's kind of what I'm meant to be doing. Um, so let's start off with Clint Capella. He hasn't played, and he's been there since March. Because we went on lockdown when he first came to Atlanta. So, like... Yeah, that's f fair enough. We haven't seen what his fit is with Trey Young. We know it's going to be awful with John Collins because neither of them can shoot, which is horrible in the NBA for saying they got rid of Clint... Houston got rid of Clint Capella because he can't shoot. Um, so I, let's see. He's never scored a three in his life. Clint Capella hasn't. Let's see John Collins. Uh... He's got 3.6, 3 point accuracy. And so, he gets 1 3 a game. Like, that's not gonna work. Like, how old is Bogdanovich? I don't know. He's like 31, probably. Wait, well, he's 27. I mean, to be fair, he does look about 12. I mean, I don't look very old, like... But... Still, he's only been in the league three years. And... He put up decent... Numbers. Well, I mean... He put up 50% from the field. He did, uh... Decent from... Three he got thirty percent of his shots. We know Trey Young's good. Danilo Gallinari. This is a tough one. It's because that tough because it's really slow on my computer. Let's also close the Clint Capella, John Collins, and Bogdan Bogdanovich. That was. Open a new tab then. Excuse me while I do this. Basketball reference. Like, I like some of their signings. Like, I like Rondo, obviously, being a Celtics fan. I love Rondo, actually. No homo. But, he's 33 now. It, he's not like 2015 Rondo. Or even 2008 Rondo. Like, it's not like that anymore. He's like, at the Lakers, he wasn't the third best Laker. To be honest. Like, you could make a claim for him being the third best Laker. I mean, the series against Houston, he was quite good. My computer's going so slow. Um, but... I think overall KCP was better. Uh, so yeah, but I can see why you would say Rondo. Like, I think it's between KCP Rondo. You could maybe say Dwight Howard, but you probably can't. I mean, I spoke about him in the video that I recorded earlier. Go watch that. It's not in the description because I'm lazy. Uh, so, yeah. 
Chris Dawn, I like that signing. Because he's one of the better defensive guards in the league. Like, <clears throat> he's top three or top five, really. You've got Marcus Smart, Drew Holiday. He's good. Him. Um, there's a few others, but I can't think of it right now because I'm tired. So, yeah. There we go. Um, oh, shit. Let's leave it to two things. Wait. Oh. Hawks. What did they even give up in the clink of power trade? I want to see what they gave up in the Because I don't know. Because I didn't watch the NBA then. Then we got into it drawing the lockdown. So why is it loaded up twice? Clint cut power trade. Look how I won't call it a fourteen blockbuster trade. Right. You can get Robert Covington, Atlanta get Kung Palo and Nene. Missou get Malik Beasley, Wancho Hernan Gomez, and Turner in the first one pick. Then we'll get Gerald Green and Houston for first one pick. Okay, fair enough. So, um, I'd say Houston won that. I mean, yeah. Look at Trey's stats last year because I think he's gonna put up a career year. Like, he's not gonna drag him into the postseason, but he could have his 32 maybe. You never know. 32. He could have. He won't average a triple double because he's six foot one. I want to say. Six foot six two. Try young. Right. I actually don't know how tall he is. To be fair. Six one. <coughs> like they need us either a centre that can shoot, a power forward that can shoot. I need to look at Anyaka Kongu's college stats to see if he can be the one. I mean, he's injured, so I don't know why we saw that today. I mean, I'll see if he can shoot, because I haven't watched any college games. He put 25% from the three, so power forward and centre don't have three-point shoot. Like, I just... <clears throat> I don't like what they're doing. Like, yeah, the Warriors years ago seemed mental because they had too many jump shooters. Now this team doesn't have jump shooters. They have Trey, could say Bogey could shoot, Rondo can shoot. But, yeah. Like, I honestly don't think they're going to make the postseason. Like, what else have they done this off season? Why does it say Jeff Teague said he's in Boston? Uh, I'm looking at the wrong team. Yeah. Uh, who else? <coughs> Let's look at Rondo. Let's not look at his player stats because play for Rondo 
it's not like Ronda Ray. He put seven points up in 48 games. Anyways. Right. I mean, to be fair. Who's that? Where was he at? When he was 28. Tot is in Toronto. That's not a team. Why don't I mean it? Anyway. Yeah, his best year was only 13 points. Yeah, there was 11 assists. Like, but yeah, he got four defensive rebounds and defensive rebound. So, put five rebounds up. Good for God. But he's 33 now. He's not 26. Right. Yeah, you could say, <clears throat> yeah, people have continued at their best when they're 30. Like, LeBron, fucking. Currently, uh, he's old. Harden, maybe. I mean, after the last video, you wouldn't think that. But I just don't know what they've done here. Like, there's two teams that I think have really thrown it on the wall. Detroit, because they've just bought in hundreds of centers, and Atlanta. Right. Like, by no means, I think this team is done in the trade market. Like, I'm high on Kevin Hurt as well. They've had a while. But I think he could have a breakout season. I'm great at the moment. I put up 12 points last year with three assists. Four if you round it up. I'm going to be the king of rounding up now. I mean. <coughs> It isn't the best from three. But those release in 2K is amazing. Yeah, so. I don't know what else to talk about here. Like, they're not going to be 14th in the conference like they were last year. But let's, let's look at the NBA standings last year. Because they were 14. Only above the Cavs. But, I don't think they'll do that this year. I think they'll be better. But, they just need to trade John Collins. I think, cause like, they think it's going to be the future. But, it's not. Like, Trey and Collins is not going to work long term because Trey can shoot great pyro. He's already getting there. But Collins can't shoot, which would be alright if they didn't have Clint Capella. Right? Like, sure, you could get rid of Clint Capella, but then you've got Anyaka Rakungu who can't shoot. Like, you've just got yourself stuck in a hole if you want to keep. Yeah, so, let's see. I think, this is a spoiler for the next video, but I think making a postseason next year will be Milwaukee, Toronto, Boston, Miami, Philadelphia. So that's five. Six was Brooklyn. Seven with the Pacers. I don't know why I took so long on that one, that was obvious. And eight with the Wizards. That's not in order, but yeah. So, I guess we'll just have to see what they do. So, I'm filming this at half.
well, I'm filming this on the 3rd of December, so, um, this is coming out on the 4th of December, where I am, so, um, if something's happened, don't kill me, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.